What's up guys? How are y'all doing? Welcome to another video on the Raspberry Pi. We're going to be checking out how to add Bluetooth connectivity to your Raspberry Pi using that old Bluetooth dongle that you used to have laying around in a pile of junk. Uh, <laughs> at least if your story is like mine is. Uh, I was actually uh, presented with a USB Bluetooth dongle way back when, when I bought a gigabyte uh, motherboard for my computer. And so I uh, had it laying around for a while, did some Bluetooth stuff with it, but never really did a whole lot with it, so it's just laying around now. Anyway, I went ahead and dusted it off for this application. This is actually a good way to use one of those USB Bluetooth dongles. So what we're going to be doing is we'll be installing the Bluetooth stack for the Raspberry Pi. And this is the Raspberry Pi A, okay, Model A. This isn't the B Plus yet. I know I showed that I have the B Plus. Um, I'll start a whole new series of those videos uh, for the B Plus, but this one is still uh, working with the version A, okay? So now we'll be uh, installing the, like I said, the Bluetooth stack and whatever and configuring it and showing you how to get it up and running. So first of all, we are going to do our sudo apt get and we're going to update because we always want to update uh, our apt get, especially if you ever have a new installation of the Raspbian or Wheezy, whatever it is. Um, if you uh, do a new installation, you definitely want to do an apt get update. This updates all of the repositories and all that fun stuff so that way it has the latest and greatest to search from. And then after this, we will be performing an apt get upgrade. Okay, so you just do sudo space apt get up space upgrade, and that will uh, upgrade any repositories or anything like that. Um, installers new versions of the packages that you may have, uh, and, and updates lists and things like that. Once we do that, then we will be ready to install everything. So instead of letting you having you guys sit through um, this fetching everything, getting all the packages and whatnot, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video, get all the updates and everything, and then we'll be back with the uh, packages that we're going to download. All right. Okay, so that is finished. So now we're going to do the sudo apt get upgrade. Hit enter on that guy. We'll see how long this guy takes. Um, if it looks like it's going to be taking a million years, we say yes. Download all of this stuff. Eh, this might take a while. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video on this one. We'll be back with the uh, final command. Okay, guys, that took quite a while, but now we're going to do a quick command. We're going to sudo apt get uh, auto remove. This will uh, basically take out any uh, packages that are left over from the older version or from the upgrade or anything like that. That will do that. So now we want to sudo apt get install and we want a blue tooth blue easy utils blue man okay and those are all the different packages that we need to install to get our bluetooth going so we're going to hit go on that let that get going and i'll go ahead and pause the video again yes we want to install it and while this installs i'm going to pause the video and you can sit back and in just a split second you'll it'll all be installed and we'll get going Okay, so it looks like we've got that all installed now. Uh, the magic of cameras. You guys just wait a few seconds to see it come in. All right, okay, now uh, now that that's all done, I'm going to go ahead and pop up a video here, and I'll plug in the USB device. Oh, by the way, uh, how you list what USB devices are connected to the Pi is that you're going to go LSUSB, all right? Now, right now... I believe I don't have anything really connected so it's not really going to show a whole lot outside of the, just the bus the information and things like that so now let me plug that in and we'll be good to go all right so there's our video here we go I'm gonna go ahead and it's the gigabyte uh, USB dongle so we'll go ahead and plug that in Alrighty. Okay, so now that we got that plugged in now, now we're going to check out, well, oops, LS USB. 
can't even type. And there we go. See the Cambridge Silicon Radio solution. Okay, so now that that's all in, we need to go ahead and begin activating everything. So first things first, we should be able to have now the HCI config going on for us. So if we do that, of course it says can't open sexually because it's family not supported by protocol. So we have to uh, set it all up first. Uh, we're gonna do the HCI config, HCI zero up. Oh, oh wait. Okay guys, uh, looks like I remember what the issue is, is that we need to reboot the uh, Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna do a quick sudo shut down minus R now. This will restart the Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now, we'll probably lose, there we go, we'll lose our SSH connection. So what I usually like to do is, we'll close putty here, is I like to grab a, uh, a terminal, and just do a ping dash t that'll do a continuous ping of the address that we have on our raspberry pi <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and do that and that should it'll be a request timeout for a while until finally the pi uh reboots and comes back up and it looks like it already has so there we go our pings are successful so we'll control c out of that exit out of that we'll go ahead and uh take and pull putty right back up which that's what I use uh, to do this guy um, I'm gonna go ahead and log back in to the Pi so let me grab that screen you guys can see it uh, log into it okay so now I should be able to sudo I've, and I think I forgot last time the sudo so sudo HCI config HCI 0 and then we're gonna do the uh, up. Now we get we get a return prompt. So now the Bluetooth is now active. So it should have now activated things. Um, now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and set it up, set it up to uh, configure it to talk with uh, devices. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna basically I've downloaded an app. I can put a link in the description to the app uh, that I have, but I believe it's just called Blue Term, I think, and uh, like I said, I'll put a link down in the description. And what it is is it's basically like a serial terminaling uh, application for your Android phone that you can uh, work with. I'm sure there's there's other types of uh, terminaling or Bluetooth, uh, just kind of like testing softwares out there for uh, iOS enabled devices. I'm doing mine on an Android and I'll show you here in a minute um, what I'll do on my phone to actually connect this up and get it going. But first of all, we need to, uh, there is a known bug with the Bluetooth stacks. I actually ran into some of it myself. So just, uh, it's when you have the, uh, let's see, the PNAT, uh, enabled it causes issues and for what we're doing we're not going to need that so if you just cd to the etsy bluetooth main dot config well whoops <laughs> that's where we're going cd to the plane and then we vi or vim or whatever you use the main dot config now what I have done is I've gone ahead and added it but down here at the bottom you're just going to add this disable plugins equals PNAT and that's going to disable that to, so that way it won't cause any uh, connection issues or any problems like that. You right quit it, shift colon WQ or you know your control save or whatever it is whether you use nano, VI, uh, whatever editor you're using. Oh of course make sure you open it with super users, do the sudo and then add it in. That way you have right privileges. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we got that good to go. So let's go ahead and get some stuff started. So first of all, we're going to enable the scanning on it. So we're gonna sudo uh, hci config hci0 pi scan. What this does is this makes your Raspberry Pi or uses your Bluetooth dongle and puts it into um, 
basically a broadcast mode where um, it is now discoverable. So now it is discoverable now. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to pair it up with our phone right now. So first off, we're going to connect it to our phone and then we'll actually go ahead and do the pairing and everything through that. And then we'll set up the Termaling application afterwards. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring up a screen right down in here. Hopefully it doesn't get in the way, but we'll bring that up here in just a second. Okay, so now that's up. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over here to the phone. Okay, let's turn it on. All right, and then what we're gonna do is swipe it to turn it on. Hopefully you guys can see this. I may zoom in a little more um, here in a minute. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm gonna try to move my microphone over, so sorry if it gets a little too loud, but um, I'm gonna try to stretch it on over here uh, where you guys can hear me um, a little bit better uh, since it's it'll be it'll be over here. Uh, so I've kind of got to turn sideways on my bench here. So what we're going to do is you're going to go into your Android apps. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Zoom in. All right. We see that we've got the Bluetooth. Okay. So we're going to turn Bluetooth on. I'm trying to do this through the viewfinder. This is interesting. So we're going to turn Bluetooth on. Number one. Number two. We're going to click on it and go into it. Okay. Let me let me back out a little bit so you guys can see. All right, so now I've got no devices. Well, actually, I it just found it. Did you see that? It just came up. If it didn't doesn't come up, there's this little ellipse down here. The well, not the ellipse, but you can click scan for devices. I apologize, scan for devices. But the Raspberry Pi Zero is right here, so it is discoverable. Now, what we're going to do, if I can direct your attention back over here to the uh, to the to the to the screen here, back with the with the mouse. Um, so we'll go back up this way. <laughs> and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a Bluetooth agent to do our pairing for us. So we're going to say Blue Z Simple Agent. Okay. We're going to hit enter, and that's going to set up our pairing agent. Oh, whoops, I forgot. We've got to do the sudo. Okay. And that's going to set up our pairing agent. So agent is now registered, as you can see. So now direct your attention back over here. Whoa, back over here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and click on our Raspberry Pi. It's going to ask us for a pairing code. Now, at this point, we can just make it up because we're going to echo it over here. We're going to echo it back. So I'm just going to choose uh, four zeros. Hopefully you can see me entering that. Uh, where's the zoom? There it is. Okay, so I entered four zeros. Going to hit done. Tap OK. And then, as you see right over here, look over that way there's uh, the pin code so we gotta type 0000 in our terminal we hit enter and now it should be paired and as you can see there's no error messages no nothing so we are now paired on our phone we are good to go so what we're gonna do is direct your attention back over here look back at our terminal uh, here for our Raspberry Pi I'm gonna control C out of this to get out because now it is paired and ready to go so the next thing that I'm going to do is I've got to uh, set up uh, the serial port for this thing and set up an RF com to listen to the uh, to the Bluetooth and create a, a serial port so we can listen to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say SDP tool add SP. This uh, starts the serial port uh, obviously or at least registers it, and then we're going to sudo RF com. We're going to listen to HCI zero. Hit enter. All right, so now it's waiting. Well, actually, before we do that, on let's cancel that. Let's put an ampersand because I want my terminal back. So there we go. So it's still waiting for connection, but I get my terminal back. So now, watch. I'm gonna switch back over here, woo, to the phone, and we're gonna run that application that I got. So in here, I've got this application called Blue Term. Okay. And as you can see, I have been playing with it. <laughs> I've been playing with it previously. But what we're going to do is I'll direct your attention. Let me scoot it up to the bottom of the phone. You're going to choose this ellipse. You're going to say connect device. Now, since we paired the Raspberry Pi, it shows up in this list. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to connect. And if you notice on the terminal screen over there, it uh, you get that control C to hang up or whatever. And we also see connected to Raspberry Pi zero. So now, what we got to do is we can type on this and it is receiving but we can't see it unless we do one more thing over here on the pie so let's go over here to the pie I'm gonna hit enter a couple of times get my get my prompt back okay and what we're gonna do is we're going to listen 
to the device. And if you notice up here, it says connection from blah, blah, blah that's my phone's uh, Bluetooth address. And it's gonna connect it to device RFCOM zero, if you guys can see that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cat that device. And cat, if those of you that don't know Linux lingo, um, will basically, anything that comes across that port, it'll print to the terminal screen. So we're gonna cat, uh, in fact, I think we have to, no we don't, we have permission, okay. Dev, I was thinking we may have to sudo it, but we don't, RFCOM uh, zero. And that's it. Now watch. As I type over here, oh, give me my give me my screen back. I'm gonna tap in this terminal, which will give me my keyboard, and I'm gonna type here. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say hello to every one. Okay. Now over here, notice that whoa, my finger is huge. Do finger. Sorry, I, I play too much with camera. But over here on the terminal, as you can see, it types out hello to everyone. So there we go, guys. That is basically the simple way of setting up Bluetooth on your uh, Raspberry Pi with just a spare Bluetooth dongle and also how to pair it to an Android phone. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, hopefully fast. I don't know. We took a little bit of time, but hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, leave me comments below. Let me know what you think. Like I said, this is probably going to be the last video on the version A model of the Raspberry Pi. We will most likely be moving on to the B plus version. Um, still got in the mix. I've, I don't know if anybody's seen it, but there's the uh, Raspberry Pi uh, B or Raspberry Pi 2B, which is out now, which looks pretty darn awesome. So we may have to get our hands on that as well. So, guys, I guess with all that, make sure you like, subscribe, and share, because I I do enjoy when you share my videos. It really helps the channel out. Um, it's uh, give me some likes. Uh, comment everything all of it helps it helps a lot my channel helps us to grow here and me to bring you more uh, interesting content that you you all have come to enjoy so guys with that that ought <laughs> to do it exclamation <laughs> all right guys make sure and uh, make sure and check me out on Twitter and instructables and Hope you all have a good time. We'll see you next time, guys. Keep coding, keep building, because that's what it's all about. The fun of electronics. We'll see you.